My roommate wants me to get out of the way so he can date my not girlfriend. I had just gotten out of a relationship with an abusive female a little more than three years ago. I ended my relationship with her just before graduating from high school because I needed some time to concentrate on myself. Of course, a few weeks after the split, I meet the most beautiful lady I've ever met, and we instantly hit it off. I'm going to call her Larissa. She, too, had just left an abusive relationship, so neither of us was looking for something serious. My driver's license was suspended at the time, too much speeding, awful period in my life, learnt my lesson, and a buddy, I'll call him Kay, would volunteer to take me to visit her. We would generally just hang out together for a few months since we all got along so well, and she and I would primarily just snuggle up if we were all watching a movie together. We'd slip away for a few minutes to make out, but not for long since we didn't want to be disrespectful to Keith. During this period, Larissa and Keith formed a bond, although it was platonic on both sides, similar to an older brother-slash-younger sister connection. Keith also had a girlfriend of four years at the time, but their relationship was hanging by a thread. I got my license back after six months and I'd go visit L-slash-take her out without Keith. Larissa and I began having at that moment. We both liked one other, but I freaked out and kind of ghosted her for a few weeks. Keith and Larissa continued to chat, and he said that he would not quit being friends with her because I was being an idiot. That's okay. I realized I was acting foolishly, and Larissa agreed to meet me again. We quickly resumed where we had left off. Keith and his girlfriend split up about this time, so I moved in with him. I'd see Larissa a couple times a week, and she'd come over to our house on weekends to hang around. That went on for a few more months till she ghosted me for around two weeks. She told Keith she was frightened I'd leave again, and she didn't want to go through the grief again. We figured it out, but this cycle has been painfully replayed once or twice since, but not in over a year. I've seen Keith acting differently around Larissa in the previous year, particularly when she turned 18. In front of me, he'll flirt with her. She is nice with him, but she does not return his flirtations and pulls away when he touches her. I told him I didn't like it but he claimed it didn't matter since she loves me even if he flirts with her. She claims she has no feelings for Keith, and everything points to this being the case. Keith has also begun to drink more recently, and the other night, L was not there. He began complaining about how unfair life is. I bit the bait and asked what was wrong, and he began ranting about how Larissa is too wonderful for me, and that I don't deserve her. I agree, yet it persists. He then informed me he loves her and has been for a long time and that if I cared about either of them, I'd move aside so he could pursue her. I went to bed because I didn't want to dispute with him when he was intoxicated. When I challenged him in the morning, he retaliated. He claims that I can't commit, that I can't offer her what she wants slash needs, that she isn't my girlfriend and that she is fair game to date. Is it improper for me to believe this is screwed up? I'll confess that Larissa and I have an unusual connection. We don't call each other boyfriends or girlfriends, but we don't sleep with other people. We tell each other we love each other she typically stays at my house, and we get along well with each other's families. Isn't it safe to say that we're very content together? I know she doesn't want to be with him, so I'm not concerned, but after Keith said those things, I can't help but wonder if I'm being unfair to Larissa by keeping her with me. Update. I wanted to thank everyone who responded to my article and keep everyone who is interested in the result updated. I've been living with Larissa for almost a week now, after the original altercation with Keith, and owing to the advice of others here, I was certain I wanted to ask her if she wanted to make things more formal. As fate would have it, she ended up making things even simpler for me. Larissa suggested that I tell Keith that she was my girlfriend to make things easy. I took advantage of the moment and asked if I could tell everyone she was my girlfriend and she agreed. She and I are going to look at apartments this week since I need a new place to live and we want to move in together. After Kay informed me he wanted to be with Larissa, we had a few short conversations. I told her what Keith had said to me and she seemed uninterested in him as I had thought. I also informed him that she is now officially my girlfriend, which should alleviate his fears about my lack of commitment to her. He refused to believe anything until she confirmed it in person.
without me there. She agreed to meet with him on Sunday with the intention of meeting at her home since she lives with her mother and stepfather, but he declined, stating that he preferred to meet at the flat without me there. She told him she wasn't comfortable with it and that if he wanted to meet up without me or her parents, they should meet someplace public. He realized that his intimidating conduct had made her feel intimidated, so he went on a rant, calling her every term in the book. She informed him she wouldn't see him again and banned his phone number. He's attempted to contact me a few times, with messages ranging from sad to hostile, and I'm about a text or two away from blocking him as well. Hopefully, he will just go on and it will not come to that. Thank you again to the posters that assisted me in navigating this dilemma. Edit. To be clear, we both wish him well, but neither of us wants to maintain a relationship with him under any circumstances. I've also blocked him after publishing this. I agree with the comments that there is no purpose in maintaining any channels of contact anymore. I've also asked other friends for assistance in getting the remainder of my belongings out, but I was able to collect everything vital when I initially left. If he wants, he can construct a shrine out of my old clothing. Story 2 I, female 19, am upset with my brother, male 21, for taking lots of liberties when he comes home. My brother, male 21, lives nearby to my mother, female 52, and myself, female 19. Because I am not presently enrolled in college, I have been paying my mother's basic living costs while I live with her. This is a bargain we had for months. One of the terms of my agreement with her is that I purchase my own meals. My brother often comes home when he is starving. He doesn't provide any warning when he's going to come home. He simply pops up out of nowhere, typically with some of his pals. You have no idea how many times I've raced to the restroom to grab my drying underpants out before his pals saw. The boys arrive to the home terribly hungry. They plunder the cupboard and consume anything isn't nailed down. My mother has urged my brother to bring his own food, which he sometimes does, but he always ends up eating ours as well. My mother and I have repeatedly warned my brother to consult us before eating anything he hasn't brought with him. It's a case of sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. He and a friend came there a few nights ago and began eating a variety of foods. I didn't want to consume two bags of chips, so I handed them to him. I returned to my room till I heard a shattered glass. I stepped outside to check whether everything was all right. He tripped and shattered a dish. It's not a huge issue. Mistakes happen. I went to get a broom for him, and as I was giving it to him, he motioned to the floor from his sofa seat and said, I mean, can you sweep that up? After some arguing, I placed the broom next to him and instructed him to clean up his own mess. His buddy, who was a visitor at our house, ended up cleaning up his mess. I spotted my plate of pineapple pieces on the sofa next to him and told him that they were mine and that he hadn't asked if he could eat them. I'm all right with sharing, as seen by the chips I gave him, but I'd want to be consulted before he consumes my food. He pretended as though the pineapple wasn't a huge problem. I left because I didn't want to quarrel in front of his buddy. When he came up with his companions again last night, my mother discussed these problems with him. He vowed it would never happen again. But when I went to the cupboard this morning, I discovered that he devoured my Pop-Tarts. I became enraged and texted him. I told him he owed me a box and that the fact that he was eating my items was nonsense. He gave me dollar five and said that we were square. I told him that he needed to beg and that his ask for forgiveness rather than permission routine was becoming old. He informed me that I was parenting him and that he was considering blocking my phone number. He said, come approach me with an attitude, passive aggressive wording or vibes from now on and see what happens, since I've been coping with it up to this point, not any longer. You seem to have forgotten that I am one, older than you and two, your brother. I informed him that I wasn't being passive-aggressive, that I was being very straightforward, and that his age doesn't matter, and that the fact that he is my brother doesn't stop me from being furious with him when he takes from me. He said I wear my God complex on my sleeve. Money is an issue for me. I can't feed his voracious hunger. Even when he gives me money, he waits until he gets summoned and then pays me back. I wanted Pop-Tarts this morning and anticipated them to be in the pantry, but they weren't. They're mine, I shouldn't have to worry whether my food will still be where I left it. My brother insists that
this isn't a big deal and that I'm making a big deal out of nothing. I don't want him to block me, and I don't want to completely break our connection, but I don't want him to continue taking advantage of me. I simply can't seem to come up with a solution.